participated in the Chicago Color Run on Sunday, that was two days ago, and I just wanted to tell you about my experience, and if you are participating in a color run or dye type of run, I know there's lots of different ones out there, um, give you some tips for how to prepare and how to make this the most enjoyable experience that you possibly can. So um, we went to the color run on June 16th, 2013. That was actually Father's Day. Not the best day for planning on their part probably, but in the future we can plan a little better depending on what day it is planned for in our city. Um, we knew that we had to be downtown to pick up our race day packets by 7.30 a.m. And the race took place in Grant Park in Chicago. Um, I live about two hours northwest of Chicago. We had to pick up, you know, my two sisters and my mom because um, we were all doing the race together. And so we started really early in the morning. I was awake at 4.30 in the morning um, to get down there on time. Now, knowing this in the future, I would probably plan to either go downtown or get into the city the day before, the night before, something like that. Either stay overnight or at least get down there for some reason, whatever, to pick up the race day packet. Because that was a little stressful, having to get down there on time, be everywhere on time, and making sure we got the packet so we should, could actually still participate in the race. Um, but it wound up not being a big deal. We got into the city actually at like 7.45, so um, me being the on-time freak I am, um, was I was totally worried that we were going to have wasted our 45, 50, whatever dollars we paid to participate in the race um, because we wouldn't be able to pick up our race day packet, but it all worked out. We were certainly not the last people to arrive and pick up our packets. Um, we walked from Grant Park parking, where you park underground, um, under a lot of the buildings and stuff in the city, and then um, walked into Grant Park, and they had a whole really cool atmosphere set up where they were using the um, band shell um, for a DJ and like dance party area, which is really cool. Then they had a first aid station, a water station set up, um, a store. They had a Victoria's Secret area set up uh, because they were one of the sponsors of the event. And then they also had some booths with some free stuff. Um, Chevy was another sponsor of the event, so they had some of the um, Chevy Sparks set up with a place you can get some free backpacks and all that kind of stuff. So um, it would have been nice if we could have gotten down there a little early to kind of experience that whole atmosphere and get hyped up for the race by participating in the dance party and things like that. We didn't make it down early enough to do a lot of that stuff, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, luckily, it only took about five minutes of standing in line to pick up our race packets, so not too big of a deal. Um, inside our race packets was our t-shirt and a sweatband, headband, which I will show you guys in a little minute. Um, our, sort of looking at my pile of stuff here, um, tattoos for you to put on. They say happy, color run, a couple different things. Um, I didn't even use mine. We ran out of time to get them on and you needed water to do so. Um, and then... What else did we use? Um, they also gave us race day bib or numbers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the, oh, and a packet of color. Um, the color or paint that they use, at least for the color run, I don't know about the other dye runs, is actually a cornstarch, I believe, based paint, so it's non-toxic. Um, and it's basically just colored powder. Now the one they put in your packet, you're supposed to hold until the end of the race um, for the dance party or throw it at the finish line, that kind of thing. Uh, so a lot of people throw it at the finish line. A lot of people were a little overzealous and threw it even before they started the race or somewhere along the race line. Um, the then you have to line up. Um, we had to line up about a block from where the actual start line was. There's another DJ there, an MC or whatever, and he's getting all excited. There's music playing throughout the course, which was really fun. Um, you wait, and then they let you go in certain corrals. You had to be on the race um, way, or starting the race, last corral would start at 8.45. So we actually started probably about 8.26, I think we got in line or so, um, and you had to wait a little while in line. Not a big deal, though. Uh, once it started, you can, you know, you did your run. It 5K is 3.1 miles for you, those of you who don't know. This is only my second 5K, so hey, not everybody knows that. Um, and every couple, not sure if there was even a certain amount because I didn't pay attention. 
every certain amount of spaces there is a different color where you would go through this big um, archway it said what color it was and then there were people either standing intermittently across the race pathway I guess or on the sides um, and they were spraying color at you out of mostly out of um, like ketchup type squeeze bottles it was orange and then I want to say uh, green or blue yellow a couple different colors um, and then there were other colors in the packets that they gave us now eventually they started running out of color so you, they would be like oh just go on the floor roll around in the color people were picking it up with their hands and throwing it at each other um, I will say my first tip for you guys is um, if you're worried about breathing in or inhaling the color um, or if you are bringing little kids to the race to participate with you you might want to cover your mouth um, with a bandana or a scarf of some kind um, it really wasn't as big of a deal as a lot of the websites I read made it out to be it didn't bother me at all and I'm usually kind of sensitive to that kind of stuff but it really didn't bother me at all so no big deal you can even just pull up your shirt over your over your mouth and nose or something like that I was fine no big deal um, it did get fairly warm throughout the race because of course you're running you're exerting heat um, and it was a warm morning so the sweat band actually helped a lot to keep the sweat and color from running into my eyes I do recommend definitely um, if you wear glasses great or wearing sunglasses um, of some kind to keep the color out of your eyes because that definitely the cloud of color and stuff was a little crazy it does get hard to see as you're going through the cloud um, it's not anything dangerous but does get hard to see again this is not a timed race a lot of times when you got into the colored area people would back up and literally you might even have to stop and wait if you wanted to get color on you and they didn't want you running up on the sides of the course because there were spectators there or other you know normal people just using the park and walking that kind of thing so um, you do have to be prepared to stop and do that if you want to race I would say get there as early as possible and start as early as they will let you do so because I think too since we were towards the end you know between the 8 825 845 um, you know the ending of the whole thing um, there are probably a lot more people than there would have been at the beginning of the race so that might be an idea as well I don't know we weren't there that early but um, I would venture to guess if you came earlier it'd be easier to run through the course um, too, you can tell right away, especially since it was downtown in Chicago and they closed a certain amount of very normally busy streets to do this race. Um, they had the um, washing trucks and everything come right behind us. So, you know, make sure you're on there, you're there on time to get in the race because otherwise they won't let you participate. And it really was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, get excited. This is not a race. Um, you don't get timed at all. When you come in at the end, um, people are throwing packets of color, you're stopping, you're taking pictures. People stop throughout the course to take pictures. There's lots of different signs and stuff to take pictures with. It's a lot of fun, but it's not a race. I'm going to stress that many times. If you are a serious runner, this is for fun. It is not timed. You can certainly time yourself with a watch or whatever, but if you're serious, you'll want to get there early I think. Um, you will want to wear clothing that you don't mind throwing away or having paint stained for the rest of your life. Um, from what I understand it is not easy to get out of clothing. I have not washed my clothing yet. I will be showing you some of it. Um, my shoes do have paint on them and um, my shirt is certainly covered with paint. Absolutely. My shorts still have paint. They were black so it's not a big deal. Mesh shorts. So I think a lot of that will wash out. Um, you do want to wear something under the shirt if you don't want a lot of the paint, especially that gets on your shirt, to penetrate into your skin. Um, it does come off pretty easily. As you can see, this is day two, and I no longer have a ton of paint on my face or anything. We brought baby wipes and tissues to wipe off at least our faces and our hands a little bit after the race. You do have to scrub a little day one to get it off, um, but after, you know, two or three baths or showers it'll pretty much wash out pretty easily so not a big deal um, if you want to take pictures throughout the race I would recommend covering your phone or your camera whatever you're taking pictures with as the dust will get in and just like any other dust or dirt you don't want it to ruin 
your phone. Um, there's no water involved, at least in this race, um, until the end. They are shooting you with cannons and stuff at the end of the race. So you want to make sure, um, if you don't want to get wet, that you stay out of their way for sure. Um, I brought a drawstring backpack, one of those nylon ones. It was an old one, so I didn't care that it got paint on it. As soon as I got home, I threw it away. I don't care to wash it and keep it because I have a bunch of those, you know, little freebie backpacks like that. Not a big deal. So a lot of people with fanny packs as well. So if you don't need to carry as much with you, um, that's fine. Um, also, you want to bring towels and a change of clothes. If you're going to eat down in the city, no big deal. Um, we needed to change clothes because it was Father's Day. We had an event to go to after the race. So um, we ate, we changed clothes. Um, you could also shower, of course, afterwards. Um, that will definitely help get all the color off of you. Um, I did have like blue around my mouth for until yesterday, so a day. But other than that, a lot of the color came out really easily. If you put some kind of product in your hair, like I use a leave-in conditioner anyways, um, I think that helps a lot in getting the color back out. Um, my sister left gel in her hair from the night before. There's no need to take a shower the night before going to this race, um, and especially your hair, because to get that stuff back out, um, the more product you already have in, or if your hair is greasy, it'll make it wash out a lot easier. Um, towels to sit in your car on the way home. If you don't care about your seats, then fine. Um, but yeah, I would also recommend coming early and staying late. You want to participate in the atmosphere of it all, um, being able to shop at the store. They sell tutus and t-shirts and um, I got a little decal for my car that says I did the color run. All kinds of cute little stuff. Um, if you want the free goodies, make sure you come early before the race um, or at least Start the race early so you finish early because there is not a lot of free stuff left. Um, when we finished the race, now we did dawdle a little bit, no big deal. Um, and actually, I couldn't even partake in a lot of the free stuff. Like, there was coconut water and there were kind bars and the Zico coconut water. A lot of the stuff they had was coconut based. And I'm allergic to coconut, but no big deal. It's still pretty cool. Um, but we didn't get a lot of like swag bags and that kind of thing because uh, we just weren't there early enough to get um, what was provided. Again, no big deal. I did see a lot of kids participating in the race, and so next year I do plan to bring my son to do the race. Um, it was a lot of fun. I would definitely cover his stroller with one of those plastic rain or bug covers or whatever um, because the kids got totally covered. Their strollers were ruined. So I guess if you don't care about your stroller, use one of those little cheapo umbrella strollers. No big deal. Um, I think he would love it. I don't know if he would love getting the paint all over him, but he might not care. But you're definitely going to get, need to give your kid a bath before you stick him in their car seat take him home. So um, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to show you now uh, what my stuff looks like after the fact. And, uh, and then I'll put some pictures in here at the end. So, Okay, so real quick, I just was going to show you. These are my shoes. I don't know how much you can tell on camera here. They definitely got some dye on them. If these don't wash out, I don't really care. I don't wear these a lot. Um, I think the dye even shows up actually more in real life. Um, white and pink Nikes um, that I used a lot. You know, not a big deal. Again, we walked most of the race. Uh, we maybe ran like a mile of it, so it didn't matter that I didn't have great, awesome running shoes. This is the headband they gave us. It says Color Runner 2013, so that was super cute. Definitely got dye on that, so we'll see how that washes out. And my shirt, which I haven't washed yet. Still even got powder coming off of it. Um, but super cute. You can tell anywhere it got wet, um, the color is definitely going to stay. It's even a little crusty on the back, which is kind of disgusting. And my race bib. Yay. Color on. Does it say Chicago 2013? Oh, it does say 2013 on the back. So it doesn't say Chicago because they probably use the same bibs um, in every city. But yeah. It was a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend doing a color run, even if you are not a runner. Um, definitely if you are not a runner, take your kids. It is an awesome experience and so much fun. Um, if you have any questions or you know want to know other tips or anything, let me know. And I'm going to insert some pictures here at the end. Um, we had a great time. So I hope you guys will sign up for a color run near you. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe, comment, and like this video if you like these types of videos. Thanks. Bye.